I'm particularly overjoyed today. I had a, an experience yesterday, and for you friends, followers, subscribers, family, I signed up to be a uh, substitute teacher. So I got my first uh, call for yesterday, and it was for science, health, and a CERT class. It was an amazing experience. I enjoyed seven periods of absolutely amazing students. Nothing like what I've experienced for the last few years in the public system, both as um, uh, working as an HR director for an ESD and uh, being on a school board and dealing with some of the issues that we had to deal with there. Walking into various schools, I've been in a lot of schools. Our ESD served 21 districts and two of the uh, Youth Authority, which is the uh, prisons for the kids in Oregon. And uh, to hear the F-bomb on a regular basis, to uh, see kids in the hall, uh, between classes, uh, making out, feeling each other up, all kinds of stuff with teachers who acted oblivious to the whole thing. No control. So the environment I went into yesterday reminded me of my youth. Um, the kids were all respectful. They all had a sense of dignity. Um, there were some of the usual things that you see, you know, the jocks in the back. Well, all except for one period, it was all, all young ladies in the back. In fact, I went back and I asked him, I said, I said, you know, are you, are you the bad girls? Or are you the jocks? What's going on here? And uh, they told me, no, they were just a little bit older than the rest of the kids and wanted to be away from them. I mean, they said it in a real nice way. That reminds me of when I had my driver's license and I rode the school bus. All the older kids sat in the back. We didn't want to deal with the younger kids or have them around us. So it was a really positive experience. I had a chance to meet a couple of the uh, teachers, instructors, who I thought were extraordinary. I don't know the person whose uh, class I sat in, but um, she, she too has to be uh, pretty exceptional uh, compared to what I think are today's norm stands, uh, standards. And I may be way out of line, I don't know on this. But for those of you on my timeline who are older, uh, on my friends list, I had a resurgence of hope for the future and uh, perhaps uh, some real positive things for our kids that came out of that experience. Uh, I'd like to get to know this lady someday, uh, perhaps uh, socially, but that's that's for a whole nother trip. Uh, I don't know how well I did. But one of the frustrating parts is I didn't realize with the digital age how much education had changed in the school environment. I've seen it in the homeschooling. I helped run a homeschooling program uh, when I worked for the ESD. In that I was a liaison for it. And in that environment, a lot of years ago, they had already gone to uh, the online classroom environment with uh, all the support that those needed. That is now in the uh, that is now in the classroom. The room I was in, um, every student had a uh, Chrome, whatever you call it, that is an educational thing. They went they went to for their various classes they went and 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 they're really good at it but they went to uh, whatever particular class they're in wherever they were at i talked to each of the kids individually in each class uh, at least at two points early on and near the end to make sure that they were on task that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing <laughs> and, and the really funny part of this and there is a funny part is I didn't even know how to log on to the damn thing. I mean, <laughs> oh wow. So I had no way of checking, 
but I had an underlying feeling of openness and honesty from those students that I have not seen in the generally in the classrooms in Oregon. Specifically, um, when I was the uh, on the school board uh, for a three A school, we had more of that attitude. But I think it comes part of it comes from a more rural environment and. Uh, uh, there's a, a lot more respect in that. You don't get to get away with as much crap as you do in the in the larger town. But I'm rambling, OFS, Old Fart Syndrome, here I go again. It was an amazing experience. Uh, I feel renewed and energized, and uh, I have a different kind of hope for the future. Instead of just a desire, I think that there is there are places here in the United States, and I live in one of them right now, where there's more than just hope. We can see some positive things happening. Have a great time. Have a great week. Make it so.